So take it with a big grain of salt. Once again, it transfer speculation. Hello and welcome to the video. I hope you are all doing well. And I hope you're going to enjoy your weekend because it's going to be a good one this weekend, I feel. I feel like we're going to have some good weather. I feel like everything's going to go well. So please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing, get some of people's faces. And subscribing is completely free. We're on the road to 4K. We're going to get there eventually. Uh, hopefully before the start of the season because we are just blasting it away. So... Sheffield Wednesday has had the situation. We have got Jan Valerie done and dusted. We know that. We have Max Lowe in the building. We know that. We also have Ben Harmer in the building. We know that as well. So, they're three players in. It looks like, according to uh, some reports, the next thing we are looking at is a striker. Now, according to, again, take it with a grain of salt. I know how people feel about this journalist. Uh, Nixon... Uh, he's very hit and miss, but apparently he said we're looking at a striker between 1 million and 1.5 million. Now, he did turn around and say, um, the last couple of I think it was last week that we had a, like a boardroom situation going where there was a striker we want and we couldn't decide on it. And I wonder if that's to, still to do with it a little bit. But here's the thing for me, right? 1.1 1 million, 1.5 million. And apparently it's a foreign target of some sort who plays in Europe. So that could be anyone. If you technically look at it, I think he actually said it's a European striker uh, kind of thing, but I might not have read that right. But his thing was, striker mentioned before, choice of a couple of foreign by, by not crazy money. So it's not big money that he's looking to spend on a striker, which, you know what, we kind of know that anyway that we weren't going to spend big money but we might not be spending it hugely he said if there's money to be spending you need to do it it'll do it you can get good strikers for cheap as long as they've got a uh, good ability and now to play you look at the likes of what coventry got with uh vodka or how you ever say his name really good striker got him for fairly cheap to be fair uh, in the scheme of things, and then might sell him on. But here's the thing. We're working really hard on a deal for Ugbo, uh, who've been left out the Canadian team. But maybe there's something in this with the situation with Ugbo and then someone else. Maybe it's the fact that we're trying really hard to get Ugbo done and then have another one coming as well. We are missing that goring touch, though. Because we we just lack goals last season. And if you actually look at Wendy the whole, you look at it, you've only really got Michael Smith and Bailey who are technically recognised out-and-out strikers. Um, so it's interesting in that point because you probably want more in to come in than just Bailey and Smith. And again, just because we're getting ins in, don't forget, I think we're going to have some outs go out. I generally think there's going to be players who are going to lead this team who uh, are just they, either they don't have a place in Danny Rolls' system or side. And if that's the case, you go, fair enough, that football, that happens. Um, so, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what happens next. I think next week will be very busy. I think there's definitely going to be a shirt announcement, I think, now. Uh, I say definite. I can't be definite. But with how... They left it to Lyles in part. It feels like there's a shirt announcement coming. Let's put it that way. Um, we got that that need doing. We got the situation with when they needing to get uh, pl more players in for preseason because that starts on the 28th. Danny back from Germany to finish doing his uh, punditry work, which also want to say he's done a cracking job of that. And I think we all kind of knew we would do really well, but he put us in a bit more of a shot window. So could this be a situation where Ugbo comes in and it's someone else? Dunno. But it's looking more and more likely that we are looking at a striker in Europe for about 1 million to 1.5 million. So that will be interesting to see 
what when they can bring in there because it's not a lot of money, but you don't have to spend a hell of a lot of money to get decent people in. And I think that's something we have to be very wary of because I don't think people are that wary that you don't have to spend big to get the right player in at all. You really, really don't. Um, so let's have a look at what we can do. And you've got to think, we still want to get Faveda done. There's still work to be done on that deal. Uh, you've got Windass, uh, Bernard and Iortha, who are probably set to hopefully sign new deals. I don't want to say they're done because we all thought Windass deal was done and then it hit a snag. So let's see where we are in the next couple of days. This weekend could be quite interesting for news, actually, because you might get a lot more work done if Danny is definitely back and had the idea. Danny will give it, will give it pe people who are looking at the recruitment side, people he wants to bring in kind of thing. He will, he will have done that. He will have done the due diligence, say, this is someone I want to try and see and get in. Maybe there's something to do with uh, Dembele as well. Lots of things that could happen in the next couple of days. But if he's wanting most of his players in by the 28th, if he's worked where he wants a lot of his new players in by the 28th before pre-season or on pre-season, you're going to have to get busy. You're going to have to get really, really busy. And it'll be interesting if when they do a like a signing announcement at Owls in the Park. I doubt it. We haven't done one since, but it would be really smart of us to do so and go, hey, look, we've brought in this player. But I doubt it. Um, it just not something I'd see us doing. I really don't see us doing that, sadly. And it's a shame because I think if Wendy did more things like that, it'll go well. Uh, like I praised a little bit on the Valerie signing, saying they did a bit better on that. But then I also look at it going, they did and they didn't kind of thing. It was good to use the song and actually do it the way you want it to. But at the same time, you could have done a bit better. You could have done something, I don't know. It felt, it felt meh. Good in some sense, bad in the others. Let's see if we've got any returning now coming back in the likes of Pervader and Ugbo. Could be. But 1, 1 million to 1.5. Say in the comment section below who you think it could be. Like generally, 1, point, 1 million, 1 1.5. I keep doing that. But point in the comment section who you think it could be. Who do you think could be someone who realistically could come into Wednesday and do a job? It'll be interesting what people say. Maybe we do a video talking about some of the people who you recommended. Realistic ones as well, by the way, guys. But that's about apparently what we're looking at. Again, it's Nico. Take it with a grain of salt. But there's that. So we'll see.